Hey there, hope you're having a good day. Today, I've got a guide for you on reading runes. We just had a few new runes come out, and uh, this, along with the rune system in Undecember, is, of course, very key to the game. And there are a few things about runes that are not made clear. Um, and so I want to talk about how to read through runes, how to understand what they do and what you need to do to improve your runes. So um, let's get into it. First of all, I'm going to give a couple of quick tips, just something you may not have noticed that are really key with runes. The first are the different movement runes in the game because there are two types there are offensive movement and there is just movement and why why is that important well they share cooldowns between types meaning you can have multiple runes so if we look at leap attack and this is how you tell the difference if you scroll down you'll see shares cooldowns between offensive movement skills okay so this is its own set of cooldown sharing then you've got skills like um dodge roll where are you at there you are or roll rather if you scroll down here shares cooldown between movement skills that's how you can tell the difference is that line of text right there and so you can have roll and leap on your bar and they don't share cooldown and so that's how you can have multiple skill runes but of course let's say you had leap and then you also had penetrating slash on your bar these are both movement skills but they're also both offensive movement skills so they would share cooldowns meaning you use one it triggers the cooldown of the other as well Okay, so that's tip number one. Tip number two is a particular tag that you should be aware of. This tag is strike. Okay, the reason why this is important, and it's probably, okay, so it's probably more important that you notice when it's not there. Strike drives, the tag strike, like right here on penetrating slash, this drives a lot of the things that you would expect to happen when you use an ability. Um, on hit, crit, status effects, anything that procs on hit, and a lot of things will say on hit, only happen if the skill you're using, aside from all other conditional things, the skill you're using must have the strike tag for those things to work. Um, one offender of this is and they just added runes so this is this is different to me did i i don't have a filter on here hold on oh there it is wheel slash this you know your guy spins around and he looks like he's hitting them right but he's not because this does not have the strike tag on it so there are a lot of things that don't trigger when you use this skill that do trigger if you're using something like combo, right? Because this has the strike tag on it. So that's important to pay attention to. Okay, no more. Okay, those are the quick tips. Let's move on to actually reading a rune. And so first of all, this system here is amazing. And I think... I think that this should be the standard for all action RPGs. So in your journal, under item compendium, there's a rune compendium. This is storage for one copy of every rune in the game. And it also lets you see all the runes in the game. And you can filter here to see where they come from, that sort of thing. So. Another feature of it is you can see the effect of the different rarities on the rune by clicking through here. And we'll talk about that here in a sec. So let's talk about reading runes. Using combo, I'm going to turn it down to normal quality. 
So here you have your tags, super important. This tells you what will apply to the rune. This here is mostly flavor text, but it'll sometimes have some key information. You've got cost here. You've got, you know, the weapon that you need, the requirements to use a skill. All of that's pretty straightforward. This box right here has a lot of important information in it, but when you first come into this, you might look at it and it might be all very, you know, overwhelming because each line in here is going to serve a specific function. Okay. So this is how most skills are laid out. And when I say most, sometimes it varies a little here and there, but you will have a percentage damage and a flat damage if the skill deals damage, of course. So in this case with combo, we have a percentage damage here, physical damage 301%. Okay, and then you have physical damage plus 78. Those two lines where there's a flat, meaning a plus and a number, and then a percentage are on every damage skill. I, I don't think there's an exception to that, but those have a very specific purpose because this here is not, this is not bonus damage. This is called the skill multiplier. That's a very specific thing in the game. And anytime you see the word multiplier, it's talking about this. So if I, if I go into my Zodiac and I look at, um, what is this waterfall? Do you have it? I think it might be one up. Let's go into vacuum. Oh, here we go. So you see 15% element damage, 15% dot. All of that's just bonus damage to that type. And then this right here, 8% dot multiplier. What this does when you see a multiplier like this, the word multiplier, pay attention to that, it just adds 8% to that value. And you'll see it reflected on the skill rune. So if I go back into my rune compendium and I find a skill such as wheel slash that is DOT. And if you go down here, you see how on the multiplier line, it says physical dot 300%. This would become 308%. And so you'd have to do the math to know how good that is for you. But that line where it's a percentage and then a flat, pay attention to it. That's the multiplier is the percentage. So very key to know what is actually helping your stats. Um, other things in here, such as physical element, weapon range attack, those are usually just here as an example. Those are usually in the, uh, in the tags. So it's kind of redundant. But then down here, depending on the skill, it will outline exactly what the skill does. Um, let me use wheel slash here since, since we're on it. One thing that it says here is dot multiplier, 26.6 amplification per stack. Okay. It says dot multiplier. We know what that is. That's this number here, this physical dot 300%. And it multiplies that, it amplifies it, rather, it amplifies that by 26.6 per stack. Um, when you see this kind of thing in Undecember, it is not 26.6 amplification five times, meaning per stack. It's five times 26.6, just all together as one big chunk. There's a minor difference there, but that's, that's how it works. It's not adding its own unique amplification. This is an exception to that whole, you know, amplification. It's always the percentage that it, it gives. So this is one minor exception to that. Okay. Um, it's, it's just going to be unique to the skill, but here it's going to tell you if there's a stack component, how many max stacks, what the effect of the stack is. It's going to also tell you, let's say it gives you an effect. It's going to tell you what the effect is down here. Another thing 
that it'll do is it'll you'll see these squares if you're on anything other than the normal um, grade of it it gives you these squares that tell you what that grade actually does for the skill and these if they apply to the core numbers up here are going to be reflected and you'll notice 15% strike damage multiplier see how it added 15% there 301 to 316 okay so it's reflected up here and so before you go using resources to upgrade skills you should probably come here and check if it's even worth upgrading it for you because maybe you use the skill in a way that isn't going to benefit i mean combo is not a good example for that case because obviously these down here are an improvement so you would want to do that um but there may be cases where you look at that and you say oh those bonuses don't help me for what i'm trying to do with the skill okay well don't upgrade it don't waste your resources um and th that's about it. Like those, those key things I talked about just now are the main points I wanted to get across here. Um, so let, let me know if you have any questions about skills or add in the comments if you have anything else you wanted to add to this. And um, I appreciate you watching. Hope you have a good day.